Hello again. Um, I hope you're well, guys, and I hope you've been enjoying the home workouts that you that we've been uh, posting on here. Um, another one for you today from me, uh, which is a, a core workout today. Um, it's got a good warm up at the beginning, and it's split into three sections, which I'm going to do a little demo tutorial of each section for you, uh, as well as you'll be able to see the full thing, and you can kind of see how it works out and pans out. Um, so give it a go and uh, hopefully you'll enjoy. Um, so to begin with, uh, you've got warm up. We're going to do three rounds. So there's only three exercises. So it's nice and simple. Um, throughout all of this, just really will focus on quality as well. So try not to go for speed over, over, over form or anything like that. So like I say, warm up, three rounds, three exercises. First exercise is sit-ups. So as we did before in last week's video, if you've got a cushion or something, or an ab mat or anything like that, perfect. So just place that, and it's just gonna go underneath your back. Bring your feet in nice and close together. Start from your toes, reach all the way back, come down, reach higher, backwards above your head, and then come up all the way back to toes. Okay, so you're gonna do 10 sit-ups. Uh, after that, you're gonna then do a 15 second um, plank hold. hold. Um, so we're focused on really keeping this midline nice and tight. So options with this is to, firstly, if you can, be up on your toes um, with your bum up in line with uh, your your back so that we're staying nice and structured here. We don't want to be dipping those hips down here or anything like that. We're up nice and nice and high with that bum. You can either be on your palms or your hands or down onto your forearms as well. Okay, but again, keeping that chest up tall, trying to hold that position, and you're just going to hold this in the warm up for 15 seconds. Okay. Third movement is then mountain climbers. Again, we did these last week. Um, Starting on your palms or your hands, um, you're going to come up and bring your knee across to your opposite elbow. So you're just really driving those knees across the elbows, across the to towards the elbow, sorry. And we're going for 20 reps, so that's 10 on each leg. Okay, and that's your warm up done. Remember three rounds. So the next part of your workout is to do, um, you've only got two exercises and you're going to do four rounds. Now this, like I said at the beginning, really focus on quality rather than, than speed of movement and things and, and don't sacrifice your form. So you're going to do two exercises. Your first one is going to be a side plank with a rotation, um, which we've got a little bit of a scale in there as well if you need to. And then we've got a shoulder tap plank again with a little bit of a scale option uh, if, you, if you need to. You're going to do both exercises back to back and then give yourself 45, 60 seconds rest before you then go again and you complete that for four rounds. So for the side plank, similar to when we were talking about the plank before, really brace as tight as you can here to keep that midline nice and tight. Um, so on the first part of the exercise, you're going to go on your left arm. So your left elbow is planted directly below your shoulder. So you're keeping that alignment all the time. Your hips are up nice and high. So again, we're not sink, sink, uh, sinking the hips down low here. And we're trying to keep our body in, in, in as straight a line as possible when we're up. As a little bit of support, you can have one foot in front of the other, either foot on top of each other, or as a little scale option, we could have one knee down just to provide that extra bit of support to keep these hips up high. And that other foot over the top to kind of help to, 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 to protect this form and keep this position in here. What you're then going to do is you're going to reach under your body with your arm, so right arm's going to go underneath, little rotation, trying to stay as square as I can, open out, and that's one rep, reaching back through, opening up, it's two reps, so I've really got to brace and stay stable as I work through the range and three reps and so on. And you'll repeat that doing that on the opposite side. So I'll put my right arm down and do all the rotations with my left side. You're gonna do between eight and 12 reps 
on each side on that one. Um, for the rep ranges, go to where you feel like your form is, is good. If you start to fail on a rep, then that's where I would, I would, I would kind of stop there. Okay? Exercise two, so you're gonna go straight from both of those plank rotations into a shoulder tap plank. So we're up on our toes if we can as an option. You can be on your knees, uh, but this is just gonna make you more stable, so it makes that a little bit easier. If you can make it that little bit harder, we're up on our toes, okay? So just trying to stay as stable as possible, we're bringing one hand to touch the shoulder and then switching to the other side. Trying to minimize that rotation in the hips there. They're trying to stay as still as possible. Tap in the shoulder and brace in that midline. And we're going to do 10 reps on each side. Okay? So, like I said, you'll do both of those exercises back to back. Then give yourselves 45, 60 seconds rest before then doing your second round, third round, then fourth round. And that is part A done. Okay, so now you've done part A, you're on to part B, um, and that is going to be following a similar pattern to the workout that I did last week with you, which was every minute on the minute. So you're going to have just three movements. Um, you start the first one between zero to one minute. Second movement is one to two. Third movement is two to three, and you're going to keep repeating that. Um, so you'll do end up doing four rounds of that in total, so it'll last a, 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 a maximum of 12 minutes. So you just repeat that cycle, zero to one, one to two, two to three, then back to the beginning for three to four, four to five, five to six, and so on, okay? So three movements. The first one is a Russian twist. Um, so a couple of scaling options for this. So we want to have, uh, to begin with, start with your heels touching the floor and your body led back to around about 45 degrees, okay? Keep your bum intact with the floor, heels touching the floor too, and again, really brace this midline here. And we're just gonna reach, and you can tap the floor um, to each side of your hips as you come back over and reach and tap, okay? So we're just rotating, but trying to stay as stable as possible as we work, okay? So to make that a little bit harder, we can raise those feet off the floor lean back that little bit more again we're making us less stable and again trying to stay as braced as possible reaching across the body and tapping the floor now then if you're fortunate enough to have maybe a little bit of uh, weight that could literally be um, a bag of flour or something like that at home or if you have got the luxury of some weights at home so you could use a kettlebell or a dumbbell for this and again, either heels touching the floor or lifted, and you're gonna tap the weight this time over the top, okay? So that's your first movement, and you're gonna complete in that first minute um, between 20 and 40 reps. Focus on quality, not on speed, so you don't have to get all 40 reps done. If you don't get 20 reps done, it doesn't matter. Work to about 40, 45 seconds and give yourself that 15, 20 second rest before then starting the second movement. So the second movement is a tuck up, okay? Um, so really focus on keeping your lower back, back push, pushed into the floor, okay? And we're gonna extend our arms um, out to the side, sorry, didn't know where to put them. Okay, and arms and legs out straight. And then all we're gonna do is we raise our knees Lift that chest towards and lift those shoulders, keeping that lower back pushed in and back out again. So we took up and back down, took up and back down. Really try and get as much range of movement as you can, lifting those shoulders up. Reach as you tuck those knees in, reach for your toes, okay? And again, you're gonna do 10 to 20 reps of those 
really focusing on quality of movement. Uh, the last part is once you've had that rest, the last movement um, is going to be a tuck hold. So similar to obviously what you've just done in that second movement, except this time you're going to hold the position again, trying to keep those shoulders up high, pushing that lower back into the floor, lifting those knees in and reaching for your toes. And you're going to hold this for around 20 to 30 seconds. And you can do that cumulatively as well. So if you had to stop after 10 and then get back in and go again, that's absolutely fine. Just work through the minute, give yourself plenty of rest before then returning back to the beginning of the uh, Russian twists. Okay, repeat that four times through, 12 minutes. Okay, so you've made it through to part C. Part C is simple, um, it's just a challenge, okay? So you might be pretty fatigued already from your core, um, but your challenge in this, uh, in this last part of the, ex of the workout is to do as long as you can hold in that plank, okay? So like we talked about at the beginning, you've got those options of either uh, on your toes, but either palms of your hands or forearms down. So your challenge really wants to be on your toes because it's easy on your knees and you can kind of stay there all day, but if you're really struggling on your toes, then do drop down to your knees, okay? Um, but then hold that position as long as you can, okay? So elbows are underneath the shoulder, nice tight brace. We're lifting the head up, so it's kind of like neutral with our spine rather than ducking our head down and, or lifting it up to look forwards. Keep it pretty neutral. Keep that bum up level with the back rather than letting the hips sag and just really let it hold for as long as you can. All right, feel free to post um, how long you managed to do it for in the comments. Uh, and I hope you've enjoyed this workout. Cheers, guys.